Hi, um, hello everybody, my name is Zach, um, greetings from Morocco, and it's a pleasure to be among you today. Um, first of all, I would like you to take a look at these signs and tell me what you think. At that, what do you think? What? Hmm? Yeah, you got something to say? It's funny. They're funny and they're confusing. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is actually it. This is what it is about. This is how uh, new bees new users are welcome to Wikipedia. It's like, uh, sometimes it's like garbage, you know, when um, somebody who's new comes and says, don't do this, and don't do that. And if you do this, you're gonna find yourself banned or something. This is how people see it, you know? But I'm here today not to talk about the problem, but to talk about a suggested solution, and don't let the titles carry you, it's easy. Um, as a lot of you have noticed, um, the title isn't very much intuitive, and most of the people wouldn't be familiar with what it means, but it's simply about making Wikipedia so much easier to edit for new big, for new users and other advanced users. Okay. Um, in this presentation, I'm going to talk about three things: about the why, why are we going to do what you going, what we going to do, and the why is the ease of editing. This is the aim of this presentation and how to make editing easier for people. Um, then we're going to talk about the what. What can we do to make editing easier? And finally we're going to talk about how we're going to make it easier. Okay. Um, about the how, um, ease of editing can be done throughout minimizing the amount of work assigned to the user, which means the user workload. And as a lot of you have noticed, um, when, you, when you see a regular um, Wikipedia user editing Wikipedia, it's not always like he's editing one item or one article. Sometimes it's much more difficult and you have to put yourself into a lot of tasks just to edit like one article. And that's not always easy. Uh, this actually happens with me. I, I try to write like one article and I have to open like 10, sometimes 20 pages just to get something that looks perfect for the community. But there's no, nothing perfect. Um, tasks that rely on wiki syntax the, the language that's used in Wikipedia can be challenging for most newcomers. It's not always easy to edit articles because it's kind of different from um, how we can uh, write articles in a normal way. Like when you do, um, like what you do in Facebook or Gmail or which other service, it's always easy because you don't have a lot of uh, symbols, and you don't have a lot of technical stuff. It's just always intuitive. But in Wikipedia, it's somehow it's different. Okay. Simple solutions may be provided using gadgets, for instance. I'm going to talk about this later. Um, okay. So I'm going to ask you again about what you think. 
when you see this um, banner display <coughs> and still something else to show. <laughs> so, um, I'm not sure um, if anyone has ever read it through the end. You did? You have a question? No, no, no. You, you read the... Oh. Okay, so... Okay. I'm one of the most active admins on that section. You... you, you did, okay, okay. You designed the edit notice? <laughs> so... You read it. Okay, so I'm going to ask you about something at a, specific, a little detail, and you're going to tell me what you think. Okay? I'm going to ask you about something here. And you're gonna tell me what you think, okay? I'll try. Okay. Uh, what do you think of this little line here? It says that please do not add any content to the subject field. I can't see it, I can't hear you. Okay, uh, I'm gonna speak loud. So, um, did it ever happen to you, like, when you want to put something in this uh, page and you actually write something? I'm constantly, I'm constantly removing extraneous headers and placing all those pages by the Okay, yeah. Also, yeah uh, that's don't read the instructions. <laughs> <laughs> that's the whole point. So, um, I was, I, I've been through this, not, I'm sure not, all, not me, just me, but I'm sure that a lot of people have been through the same thing, but you know what? I get this feeling that there's a solution, and what you can do when you just you can hide the subject field from this page. Um, this is what someone did in Arabic Wikipedia, and it's working. So this is what this presentation is about. It's about not telling people don'ts and can'ts, but just giving them the right options and letting them making the choice they need, if you know what I mean. Okay. It's actually worse than that. It's if you if you do indeed follow the instructions and you do not add anything to that subject header, then if you press edit and if your preferences are set that way, then you will get a warning that you haven't put anything. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so it's, 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 it's actually worse than what you described. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely true, yeah. So this is what I just call, um, anyway, this is what I just call ill banner pages, where you have the like five, six banners, and there's even worse. This is just an example. Um, there's another issue with making things complicated in Wikipedia, and which is computer expensiveness, which means that some pages um, seem to don't have any limits. Like when you have a lot of details in some articles that no one is ever gonna possibly read through all. But um, why why not just make summaries? If you know what I mean, like try to be brief in certain expensive articles or long articles and here's an example of the problem that happened in certain long articles this is actually a nightmare for some editors uh, especially in Arabic Wikipedia when you try to edit um, I don't know an article about Sudan or some famous country and you make a lot of efforts to improve in this article, but at the end, all you get is, sorry, um, there's an error and the edits uh, mostly won't be saved. So, um, this is probably because the article is a big fat article and cannot um, uh, acquire any more details, so why even bother? Um, so, uh, to be, just to be clear, the, what I'm saying here is that um, 
articles need to be as summarized as possible so as to allow other articles to grow, if you know what I mean. This is what the summary style is about. And a lot of people are not familiar with this uh, concept in Wikipedia. You just, if you want to uh, write about um, a subject, most of users go to the main page and just put it there. And that's not always evident because there's always a better place where you can put the right information. Okay, I'm um, gonna move to the most important thing is the editing experience. The editing experience would not be pleasant without a good design. And I really like this part because um, I think that Wikipedia is not very well designed and I'm sure a lot of people agree with me. Um, I'm gonna tell you about it later. Um, the layout and the manner how information is distributed is what the user notices from the get-go before reading the content. Um, the dynamic side, which I just call it content, the, the thing that's changed requires more focus than the stable side, which is the edit notices and banners and sidebars and things and such. Um, this is another example of um, well, uh, I would like to hear some comments here, if you don't mind. Um, do you think this is um, good information for you? Do you think you can read this again? Did you read all this information? No? no? Sure? Yeah? Yeah? So, I'm just going to get directly to the solutions, proposed solutions, and this is what I think would be a good solution to apply. It's called the BAD, a bad strategy, and it aims on changing three items, three elements. First of all, banners. Let's stop banners, let's ban banners a little bit. Let's focus a little bit on access accessibility and making things, making users access the edit interface easier and not put too much pressure on them. And the third thing is the design and how Wikipedia is a little bit late um, compared with other important websites like, I don't know, like, well, you name examples. Um, well, essentially, this strategy is about making a good user interface, which includes tooltips instead of banners. And for those of you who are not familiar, uh, the tooltips is what you have when you hover, when you put the, the index of the mouse upon a certain element, and you have this little piece of information up here, if you know what I mean. So I think that's pretty much easier and a lot better than just putting banners about certain information that you go, you're not going to need, actually. And this is the first part. So uh, a good user interface would include tooltips instead of banners, editing tools, depending on each specific use, which means that some editing tools that you found on the editing interface, you're not going to use them like all the time. You're not going to need them. So why not put the right tools on the right place? Why not put, for example, um, <coughs> there was a, a kind of a talk <coughs> in the German Wikipedia about why putting the big um, uh, uh, tags to how to make the font big. And I'm sure that nobody used this in articles, so why should they be there? So anyway, uh, I don't want to bore you with this. Um, third thing is appealing looks with minimal details. Of course, you know what that is. So I'm just going to get through this. The first thing I want to focus on is banners. The issues with most banners is that once you have read them, you cannot remove them. Tooltips, however, offer a better option for showing additional content by using 
only by user request. So if you're not gonna go with your mouse to, to a specific place, tooltip won't appear otherwise. Okay? Um, all right. Second thing is accessibility. An accessible user interface is perceivable, comparable, understandable, and robust. This means intuitive. You get it easily and effective depending on despite potential errors. So you don't get like fatal errors as we seen earlier with the big banner that says you can't edit this article because it's too big. So um, accessibility starts with providing the only necessary editing tools to the required tasks. And notable examples in other most popular websites include the Facebook messaging and Google emailing services. When you have what you need to send an email or write a message, and that's it. Uh, So I'm just going to talk about the final detail here, which is progressive disclosure. And progressive disclosure is a concept used in software uh, programming, and it simply means that it defers advanced, rarely used features to a secondary screen by and ma by making applications easier to learn and less error prone, and it offers simplicity by initially showing users only a few of the most important options and power throughout offering a larger set of specialized options upon request. And this is the final page and the most important one. This is what it's all about. In cases where you can't remove complexity, try masking it. Progressive disclosure is about showing less, but providing more. And thank you for your attention. Have a nice day.
don't fill this, even though it's like we have this giant red button that says don't press me. <laughs> so you just gonna look at it. In Wikipedia, you get this feeling a lot. Like you have a lot of things that you can't use no? because you don't have the right to, it's not the right place. So why should they be there? That's the whole point of progressive disclosure. It means that as I progress, I get more, not at the beginning. Okay? But I think I answered that one here because when I say that I do this, and, but I think it's kind of working in Wikipedia because I can see it. I can see how some some admins, some users struggle with <coughs> um, as the sir said it has you need to uh, don't write the, the title, but if you write it, this going to be an admin, it's going to remove it, so why bother? It's kind of a circle, so why not just hide it? And that's not, for me, that's not a good point of discussion. But if there is a discussion, I'm just going to stop. So, Uh, a war, uh, and, and when I'm in this 
We have a lot of banners, lots in them. Sorry? It's Wikipedia, Spanish. Spanish, Spanish, yeah. Uh, we had a lot of banners, but we had a, a real problem, because I don't like banners. So when I saw one, I tried to fix the article and, and try to borrow the banners to write it really quite good. But the problem is the new guys, the new guys just getting, they, they teach them, actually I'm not an admin, so I'm not an experienced user, they teach them to <coughs> use banners. So when I'm a troll, I also begin to search uh, article, 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 banner, 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 banner. How can, what can I do with them? So, because I'm trying to not use banners, but they are teaching to use banners. Yeah, so, um, <coughs> I don't know what you should do, this is your Wikipedia, but I just have one suggestion from my kind of personal experience with Wikipedia is that you don't have to just speak anything, but you just need to give them the right I mean, I would rather learn from uh, Encyclopedia, I would prefer so much to learn things by myself and discuss things and make mistakes and make mistakes. That someone to tell me what I need to do to like step on step two, step three. And let's be honest, a lot of people don't like that. They want you to be told what you do. Like you know where you don't have to do this, you don't have to do that. No. If someone makes a mistake and when someone puts uh, the right information in the wrong place, that's not their fault, that's our fault. If you're knowledgeable programming stuff, if you know how to use CSS or JavaScript and things like that, this is your uh, responsibility for them to make things better and put, as I said earlier, give people the right options, but make them make the choice. So you don't need to tell people that you need to use banners. No, you don't need to use banners, but you need to give them a better editing experience so that if they make mistakes, they will directly learn from you and not make things complicated for other ones to come actually. And that's what I was going to, to say. But what, uh, as you notice, in English Wikipedia, you have this, a lot of uh, don'ts and does and don'ts and does, but in the smaller um, versions, it's kind of easier, but it's getting too complicated. So you can notice how, as a uh, version, uh, Wikipedia version grows, a lot of rules, a lot of new regulations are surfacing, a lot of things are changing. No, it's still, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an encyclopedia, so it should be as easy as possible because it's a Wikipedia.